Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com, and this is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 28th of August, where I go through just one of our signals that our members receive in our stock scanner membership. So, in the stock stock scanner membership here, we have potential long and short fifth wave trades on the 60, the daily, and the weekly time frame as well as stochastic long trades and short trade signals on intraday. Today I'm going to make a, a, a little bit of a change. We've been bullish for quite some time. We've got some good uh, long trades. So I want to look for a potential short just in case things do turn around and not everything goes long. In a, in a bull market people do sell shares in, in a company so they can buy something that looks more inviting. So in the members area for the short fifth wave trades, our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet today for shorts looks something like this. I've changed the daily time frame. If you look at the bottom of the spreadsheet on the tabs, you can see the weekly and the 60 minute. But I want to concentrate on one of these potential shorts on the daily time frame. IDRA, Idera Pharmaceuticals, potential short here. So let's have a look at the chart. First of all, this is uh, the Wave5Trade.com Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader NT8 platform. I'm going to set it up on the Think or Swim version. Just wanted to show you this on the um, Ninja Trader platform. We've got a really long range bound period here, uh, you know, for the first half of this year, really. And it's only after the beginning of June do we get a really big move down, and that's the trend that we're interested in. So we want to isolate our wave count at this last green doji here before we go down and then our Elliott wave indicator suite automatically labels the one two the three and the wave four pullback and it's the wave four pullback that we're interested in right now uh, to set up the trade so let's have a look at it on thing called swim version of our Elliott wave indicator suite so first of all before we go on to IDRA yesterday's signals video on GS on the 60 minute time frame for the long hit target within the first hour and then went through target great trade very simple setup remember I used the multiple time frame strategy or one of those uh, to help me find that really good support and then the entry they it gapped up just before the entry at the open yesterday did move down a little bit and then just went for it in the first hour hit target in the first hour and then push through for the rest. So really great trade. Within an hour, hit target, really, really good. Just shows you how powerful our Elliott Wave indicator suite is, along with our Stocks Signals membership. So let's go to IDRA right now. Let's maximize this cell and look at this setup. So first of all, let's just remind ourselves of the filters that we use for our stocks scanner membership. So this is the same stock, it's the same wave count, uh, same, pull, same pullback zones, it's just on our think or swim version. So first of all, we're interested in a wave four pullback against the main trend. And just recently, since the beginning of June, we've had this bearish move. We've had a pullback recently against that, and that's our wave four. We wanna measure that. So our first filter in the stock scanner membership isn't the wave four's found resistance in this case, because it's a short, uh, in our amber zone of our probability zone. So that gives us an 80% probability. We're going to go on and make that new wave five low into our automated target zones down here in blue, about 354. We also look at the 535 oscillator here. The wave four pullback has uh, happened between the 90 and the 140. If it breaks the 140 and this previous wave four, we just cancel the order today. No, no great shakes, but we're just trying to find those potential shorts uh, to um, to offset all of our really strong bullish uh, trades that we've gone on at the moment. And then finally, at the bottom here, we've got the false breakout uh, yellow line in the oversold zone here, and then the stochastic's gone against that, crossed over in the overbought zone, and is likely to want to return to this um, main bearish trend that we seem to be in at the moment since the beginning of June. Now, this isn't over. We tested that wave four high yesterday, slightly failed and ended up uh, in a sort of doji situation, indecision doji yesterday for IDRA on the daily time frame. But we are looking for the continuation of this. So the simple rules are, 
if it breaks yesterday's high and this wave 4 high cancel the order if in fact it does come down further today and we get through 769 which is outside of our 64 moving average low the red moving average low on our chart here which is a special moving average for our entries and also the low of this indecision doge you want to make sure we're below that there uh, just because that was a price in which uh, traders decided to push back up so I want to be below there so 769 entry short for IDRA the stop losses are just above the wave 4 high there so about 1034 something like that and then the target 354 right in the middle of our um, target zone here is a one, risk to reward of 1 between the stop loss and entry to 1.6 into our target zone there so great risk to reward sensible entry if it does turn down and turn down uh, with momentum we can grab hold of this this potential short 769 if it does go further high just cancel the order and that's all about that's all trading is about is just setting these potential trades up if they go against you before they even trigger and then just cancel them but you've got to be in it to win it just like the Goldman Sachs trade yesterday just got to keep setting these up because you just don't know when they're going to hit uh, all you got to do is make sure the criteria fits well for our trade setup with our indicator suite and our um, stock scanner membership and they do hit target this was a six minute time frame remember IDRA is on the daily time frame so it would take quite a little bit longer okay so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow